for us it was not the challenge, will this work or not? It was clearly, we have to deliver. We were forcing our team into thinking out of the box, doing things they have never ever thought before. It's like creating a big video game or something like that. Accepting failures, accepting downsides and never give up. The Future Truck was introduced as the Future Truck 2025 and most of this technology is now in the truck and if I see this correctly we are in 2018 now. That is pretty cool, isn't it? The most important detail I'm looking back is the automated driving because it was not only an idea from advanced engineering but we followed all that process from the advanced engineering phase to the engineering phase. We had a very close cooperation with our colleagues from product engineering and seeing that ready for production, that's the real big thing. The focus for the moment is not the exterior, it's really the interaction. When you open the door, on first view, you see a completely different vehicle. It's a digital animal. So far, you think about a multi-ton transportation piece, heavy steel mechanics, and all of a sudden, it's, it's a smartphone on wheels. We started something that nobody has ever done before. And when you start that, you have to start with creativity, really going into those crazy ideas. Over time of that project, you had to come to a point where you said, now the concept is fixed. Now we have to go into implementation. Now we have to get it stable and mature enough to hand it over to our customers. The coolest thing for me actually was this team spirit. And this was really an overwhelming experience, how devoted people are to this product and how they really spend their hard blood to make this work and to get really cool solutions implemented. We did bring forward the key innovations from the future truck in our way. It is now optimized in the way that we can bring it in serious production, that we getting the highest customer value out of it. Everyone talks, one delivers our new actors.